Hello everybody, I'm Aurora, and this is my complex and complete guide to 2013 souvenirs. I'm making this because I want there to be a guide that goes as in-depth as possible and clears up any misunderstandings about 2013 souvenirs. So let's go ahead and start the first part of the guide. So first we're going to talk about the stickers themselves before we go into talking about anything about else about the guns or about the souvenirs. So these stickers were the first stickers to enter Counter-Strike, but they could not be obtained sealed as they were always dropped on souvenirs. They only dropped one on souvenirs other than the four that are dropped now, and they're only called hollows because the concept of stickers was brand new at this time. They also were dropped 20 to 30% scraped, which was just an odd fact about them, but this does not affect their personal appearance. For the stickers themselves, there are 12 stickers, six classic and six foil. The six stickers are Hitman, Polar Bear, Shooter Clothes, Shooter, Mountain, and Blue Snowflake. Obviously, they can be obtained in their counterpart form as well. Now we can go ahead and talk about the rarity of these stickers. These stickers are listed in rarity from 1 to 12, number 1 being Hitman Foil, number 2 being Polar Bears Foil, number 3 being Shooter Clothes Foil, number 4 being Shooter Foil, number 5 being Mountain Foil, number 6 being Blue Snowflake Foil, number 7 being Hitman Normal, number 8 being Polar Bears Normal, number 9 being Shooter Normal, number 10 being Shooter Close Normal, number 11 being Mountain Normal, and number 12 being Blue Snowflake Normal. And I found that the Hitman foil is the most liked souvenir sticker out of all the 12 in this collection. And I found that the Mountain and the Blue Snowflake are basically tied for the least liked. Now, I got these numbers by all the souvenirs on market and all the souvenirs in players' inventories on Backman accounts included. And this is the order of how rare I could find them. Now, before we move on to the guns completely, I want to talk about the Blue Snowflake and the Blue Snowflake foil. Now, the Blue Snowflake... It has a different layout than the Blue Snowflake foil. I found this is awfully odd for a sticker to be called the same name and to be dropped on a souvenir but to have a different layout. This is You don't see this with any of the, any of the other stickers in the collection and you don't see this afterwards so I don't know why they would add this but I guess we kind of get a unique seventh sticker in a sense since they are technically different stickers. Now that we are done with the stickers, I want to talk about something about the stickers that we don't see on any other stickers in the game except 2013 souvenirs that makes them extremely unique. Now of course I'm talking about sticker rotation. No guides or no videos I found have ever covered this, but basically what it is is when you apply a sticker to a gun or when you get a sticker dropped in a souvenir case, it is symmetrical with the gun. At a 180 degree angle, it's lying flat. But with 2013 souvenirs, you can get it at like a 170 degree angle, or you can get it at like a 110 degree angle. You can get it tilted, possibly on its side. Haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it upside down. Nothing too insane. I will give you some examples. There's more extreme conditions of it. And then, of course, like anything, there's lighter conditions of it. But if you find something that has a really good rotation on it that you like, then it could fit your personal preference more, and then you can really enjoy that skin. Now that we are done with sticker rotation, I want to talk about sticker size. Now sticker size has something that relates to sticker rotation. Depending on the rotation, the sticker can be, can be a different size. Now we see this with the P250, like having it on the back and having it on the handle. They're going to be different sizes, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if the sticker's on the same position, same sticker on the same gun, it can be bigger or smaller, which we don't see on any other things and I will give you some examples there's obviously again more con more extreme conditions and lighter conditions but I think this can also really play a big part in personal preference so enjoy looking for a gun that's gonna fit exactly what you want now before we go over the skins themselves and the rarity of them and the rarest of them I want to go over the collections and the teams included first as well as the winner so there was an, the original six that were supposed to be dropped in the packages, which is the Dust 2 collection, Trend collection, Mirage collection, Safe House collection, Lake collection, and Italy collection. But the Bank collection sneaked its way in there by getting a glitched R8 revolver bone mask, which five were dropped, but that has already been fixed. So that is a little unique adaptation. Two of the five that were dropped were field tested, and three of the five that were dropped were minimal wear. So have fun getting those. They're priced from 200 to $500, but all the current owners of them are looking for way higher than that so i wish you luck if you're looking to purchase one of those but other than that there has been some pretty big teams at this event there's been ninjas of pajamas sk copenhagen wolves navi complexity fanatic just to name a few there's a lot of other really well-known teams here you can just go ahead and search 2013 souvenir teams or you can check my guide that will be linked in the description 
So now let's move on to like the rarest 2013 souvenirs. And now I've set five categories for these. What I call total teamless, what I call teamless, what I call pre-event test, and what I call the exhibition match. So let's go over total teamless first. Now this is one item, there's only one in the game that shows no souvenir information at all when you look at the item in inventory. This means it doesn't show the major it was dropped in, it doesn't show the information on the teams, it is totally blank. There's only one known like this, and it is a souvenir M249 Gator match battle scarred. So it's not the prettiest skin, but it has a pretty rare backstory. Now let's talk about teamless. The teamless is basically, it shows the event it was dropped, but it does not show any other information. It doesn't show the teams that faced or anything. But that is a little less rare than the total teamless because obviously it shows some information. Now let's go ahead and move on to the pre-event tests. Now these are rare because there are so few of them dropped. They're called pre-event tests because they were pre the event when they were testing settings on the server or, or testing the computers. And now there, there was two games of this, the Valve Squad Alpha versus Valve Squad Bravo and the NIP Team A versus NIP Team B. Obviously the Valve Squad Bravo has less views, so it has less cases, so it is a lot more rare. But other than that, let's move on to the final exhibition match. Now this was between Team Duncan and Team Tommy. I get a lot of questions about this, but it's really easy to explain. There was a player named Thurpus and a player named Thorin, and their real names were Duncan, and the other guy's real name was Tommy. And it's easy as that. Now they were just doing an exhibition match, which is basically a practice match. So they were practicing. So five random players from one team, five random players from the other team, and then those two team team captains are what started the game. And then that's how this that's how you get the 2013 souvenirs between Tommy and Duncan. Now I personally think that is really cool, but let's move on to something called more sticker placement. Now you see this in a lot of guns um, prior to 2013s, but you can really see it in these skins. So a few examples are a Scout, an MP9, and a Scar. Now the Scout, if you have it on the tip or in the back, it's going to morph into the gun a little bit, and I'll show you what that looks like. And with the MP9, if you have it on the main body, it's going to go up on one of the levers on the body, and that is that gets it really messed up. And for the Scar, obviously if you have it somewhere on the body under the scope, it's gonna get really messed up, as well as the odd gets it really messed up. There's a few others that mess it up, but those are the big ones I can think off the top of my head. Now there's a lot of other unique 2013 stuff like this that I could go over, but I think I'm gonna end it here. I've gone over all the major stuff. This is really the only thing I haven't gone over is pricing, and it's really hard to price some of the match some of the matches, but I'll go ahead and just list the matches down. So there's eight matches. Uh, grand final being the most common, semi-final being the second most common, quarterfinal being the third most common, group stage, group stage being the fourth most common, the exhibition match being the fifth most common, the teamless matches being the sixth most common, the pre-event matches being the seventh, and the eighth most common was the, uh, it's really unknown because it was just the total teamless that I talked about before. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to search for 2013 souvenirs if you want to find any unique ones that you think will fit your liking. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can look for any 2013s you want. So you want to go ahead on from your profile, go community, hit market, should bring you to this page. You want to scroll down until you see this list and you want to hit Counter-Strike. Now once you fit Counter-Strike, this will pop up. You want to hit show advanced options. You want to check souvenir, check this, type in 2013 and hit enter. Now you can go ahead and up here, you can search by price or you can search by quantity. Now if you want to search more in depth and look for different weapons, you can go ahead here, say we're looking for an AK. We can go ahead, hit AK, hit search, all of them will pop up here. Say we want a battle scarred AK, we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to get an AK with the sticker close, 2013 souvenir, and a Team Dignitas Catalyst 2014 for $14. We can go ahead and buy that if that's what we're looking for, or we can go back and search a different gun and really search for whatever we want. So I hope this part of the guide was as helpful as the first part, and let's move on to the final part. Thank you for sticking through the whole video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment, what should I change? Or share with anyone you think this information will be useful to. And you can follow my Steam guide, the link will be in the description, or you can add me with any questions. My Steam account will as well be linked in the description. And overall, I just really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will put out more videos soon. Thank you for watching.